a billion dollar industry each year, uh, employing thousands of people, over 250 firms. It's one of the few industries in the state that's seen consistent and significant growth over the last four or five years in creating jobs in the state. And those jobs are good quality jobs that are really um, not jobs that are in danger of being outsourced like so many of the state's manufacturing jobs have been. been that cost drop that has allowed us to go into the utility scale. What we've seen is just this huge explosion in the marketplace. The Renewable Portfolio Standard, also called Senate Bill 3, uh, had a tremendous impact on the solar industry because it helped kickstart the industry. That mandate enabled developers like Strata to come into the marketplace knowing that we had a market that we could break into what was historically a regulated monopoly. On net, these policies are actually costing ratepayers less than they would be paying if we had, if we had no clean energy at all and no clean energy policies at all. When a solar system is placed on someone's roof, we may be generating more energy than we would use. Net metering says that instead of storing that energy in, in a very expensive and perhaps uh, inefficient battery system or some other storage technology, we're in essence going to use the grid as a storage uh, for that energy. Really what you're doing is you're selling that electricity to the utility at a retail electric rate, the same rate you buy power, by running your meter backwards. keep bringing the cost down here and build a globally competitive industry as we are, as long as we don't diminish or derail policies now, our industries will stay here and they'll thrive and we'll keep learning together.